Greetings YouTube, Dark Swordsman here and I am back for more Tomb Raider Remastered. And in today's episode we're going to be covering the Sanctuary of the Skion. So let's just take a quick glance at what we're dealing with. So we've got 29 pickups in total to get and one secret. The one secret is the Uzis, which are a little bit difficult to spot, but I will show you where to find them. I'm also going to attempt to do a trophy as well. Um, I actually did attempt it in the last episode because I wasn't sure which obelisk it was on about. Um, but I'm starting to think it was probably the one that's on this level. So i got to try and figure out how best to do it. First things first, we've got to deal with these guys. These guys are so annoying. I don't really know what exactly they are. I just call them Atlanteans because... Sorry, Atlanteans because I don't really know what else to call them. those magnum clips picked up. There we go. So it was this one that I had to do it from. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so before I attempt this, I am actually just going to save my game because... I'll be honest... It's quite easy to cock this up because it's not very easy to spot. But just there in front of me, you can probably just see it in front of me, there is an invisible le ledge. Crap, I'm being shot at. There we go, there's the Uzis. Oh, we are in trouble here. Oof. Yeah, we are in deep doo doo right now. I need to defend myself quickly. Oops. Let's just heal up a second. Yeah, be prepared for a quick fight as well. Um, once you pick the Uzis up, because once you land on that ledge to get the Uzis, you are going to attract these flyers. I reckon I probably should have dealt with... Um... Oh. Oh, oh no. Sugar. I did not mean to do that. I was going to say, I probably should have dealt with the one on the ground first. I probably did goof a little bit by not dealing with him first, but... Um, God, those hit hard. That's not the gun I wanted. With this many opponents, I'd rather use the most powerful guns we can get. Oops. Where are you? How can I still not lock onto him? This is really annoying. Oh, 
Now I can lock on to you. I suppose I'm going to have to get down there and do battle, aren't I? Here he comes. I think I've got him. Okay, I think we're clear. Oh, for Christ's sake, really? Ugh, I'm making such amateur mistakes right now. <sighs> Sugar, I missed. Oh dear, 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 dear. We seem to be going through a rough patch here where I'm being very clumsy. I hate that. It cuts the music off. I do like that piece of music. Oh, give over. I'm going to do battle up here out of the way with the flyers then I'll come back down and deal with him because I've had just about all I can stand of this now no the game's just being a fucking excuse my language a pain now oh god Why is the game doing this to me? Why why is it being such a pain? Oh come on, that was perfectly lined up. Dear God. That guy with his bloody pin missiles is not helping. Now there is a trophy also for finding the Uzis there, but obviously I've already got it. Oh god. So there would normally be a save point up here as well, by the way, folks, just to clarify. Grab this. Pull these out now as well, because I'm going to need them. 
Oh crap, where did he come from? That's him down. Him dealt with. That's him dealt with. Okay, I'd say we're finally making some progress, despite my clumsiness. Ooh, I got my music back. Yay. Yeah, I can't hear it over the music. I think that's probably my favourite piece of Tomb Raider music. The only other one that comes close is the actual Tomb Raider theme itself. Sure, if that's a run and jump or a normal jump, so I'm just going to save my game. There we go. Which door was that I just opened again as well? Was it the side door here or was it the other one? Let me have a look. No, it was the other one. Okay, that's fine. Let's grab this. So where are we at on the collectibles front now? We're at 9 out of 29. Okay, cool. That's fine. <clears throat> so sadly, we do have a bit of climbing to do now. So uh, we'll get there. We will get there.
Okay, that should have opened the other door. Next, we're going to want to deal with Senor Fly Features over there, who seems to have got himself stuck in the wall. So I'm not quite... Oh crap, where did he come from? This is very, very dangerous. I was so fixated on the other flyer that I did not see him approaching. That could have been an absolute disaster. Right, let me just save my game here a second because obviously the other one has got himself stuck. We don't know how this is going to play out. So we do need to proceed carefully. I mean, maybe if we're lucky he'll stay stuck in the wall, I don't know. In which case I might not have to deal with him, but... I mean, I've seen a lot of things in my time on Serena. <laughs> what a recovery. That could have ended so badly just then. Um, as I was saying, yeah, I've seen a lot of things in my time on Tomb Raider, but never this. And I really don't trust myself right now, considering how clumsy I'm being today. <laughs> so I'm going to keep saving my game regularly. Okay, now he's decided to come out. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're dead. Okay, so now we know he's not permanently stuck in the wall. Oh, hold on. He's managed to pull himself out. There we go. Dealt with. Well, I had a sneaking suspicion something like that was going to happen anyway. That's why I saved my game just to play it safe. Because I've learned when it comes to Tomb Raider, it's better to be safe than sorry. But not just with Tomb Raider. There's been numerous other games I've played where I've learned to play it safe because... I kind of learned over the years that you can be amazing at a game and yet stuff can still go wrong. Games can still glitch. Things can still screw you over. Because you generally don't know what the game's RNG is going to do all the time. Except with the odd few games where you can manipulate the RNG, I suppose, a little bit. Um... So, like I said, it's, it's still better to be safe than sorry. I learnt that one actually quite a lot from playing Ark, which I have just about retired from now. So, I mean, I did. I have got some videos that I've recorded. They still haven't been aired on my channel yet. I don't know whether I'm going to air them or not. Um, and quite frankly, I doubt there will be any more content of Ark now. Just purely because I've got bored of the game and on top of that, Wildcard and Snails games have destroyed my love for the game a little. I'll just turn that down a bit, that's a little bit on the loud side. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, we'll, we'll see how things go. The videos that I'd done were videos on how to get through each of the caves. The only caves I hadn't done the video footage for was Artifact of the Strong and Skylord, I think, in the end. The rest of them I'd pretty much covered. But as time progressed, like I said, I just started to lose my spark. So... I mean, I sort of temporarily came back this weekend to sort out some stuff because I know Scorched Earth is due out very shortly and I thought about potentially giving Scorched Earth a go, see how I feel, but again, we'll have to see. Anyway, enough about Ark. We're here to play Tomb Raider, not Ark. 
So yeah, let's see here. Where are we at now? 15 out of 29. We're making good progress. Okay, so what we need to do first of all is actually jump down here and into the water. And we're looking on the bed of the water. There it is for this key here. Once you have got the key, <clears throat> we can head up top. Nope, jump too early. This is why I saved my game so I could put myself straight back at the top again. Nope, too early. Almost had it that time. Nope. Oh my god, why can't I grab it? Come on, game, behave. Got it. There we go. All right, let me just heal up here a second because we've got another senator to deal with. That's not good. <laughs> but I mean, if it was taking that much, would the Uzis to take them out? God knows how much it would have taken with the shotgun or, or, or the magnums, or even the pistols for that matter. So... Using the Uzis was probably the better option. Although there is a trophy for taking everything out with the pistols, which... I kind of feel is going to be a bit of a nightmare, but I don't know. got all the bits and pieces that we need which means we now need to climb back up the sphinx anything because I know again this level was another level where I didn't get everything although having said that I think I did die a couple of times and I tend to miss stuff generally if I die because I might pick something up die and then forget to pick it up again and I'll go I'll generally go around and collect everything that I know I need to go and collect again, but I might not necessarily get everything. But there has been times where I have goofed and, and thought I'd picked up everything that I had to go back and get and actually missed stuff.
Oh god. I don't like being up here. This is so uh nerve wracking being this high up. I think it's because I have a fear of falling. There we go. Hell of spotting that invisible ledge this time. <gasps> no! <sighs> this is why I've been saving my game regularly because for some strange reason I seem to be going through a clumsy streak right now. So it has made sense to me to just cover myself on that one. There we go. a little bit apprehensive at moving on to the next bit because looks like I know I've missed or at least I did miss stuff last time I just want to make darn certain that I have actually got everything this time Definitely nothing this side. Had to double check that. I swear I picked those magnum clips up. Oh no, I died, didn't I? Of course I did. Okay, so we're at 19 out of 29. We're doing good. Um, what actually I'll do is I will save my game here. I'll create a new empty slot. So basically that way if I have missed anything... I can potentially go back and just, you know, look for it. That way I can make sure that I'm showing you guys where absolutely everything is, because that was the whole point of this walkthrough, was to show you guys where all the secrets were and where all the pickups were. And if I don't do that, then I'm kind of letting the side down a little bit and I'm kind of defeating the objective. So... just want to make sure I'm covering all my bases. I think I've got everything. Like, I'm pretty sure I know where everything is, but like, sometimes I still do miss things out, so I just want to make darn certain that I've covered everything. Oh, I've got to swim back up because I'm running out of oxygen. Now, I know there is a medkit under here. But we physically can't get to that right now because of the water level we got to we've got to get rid of the water there it is it's a large med kit as you can see but like i said we've got to drop the water level first to be able to get to it um, Once we drop the water level, that's where we're going to come out there. Um, is there anything else at all that I've missed? I need to make damn certain that I'm being very thorough in my check. So we're at 21 out of 29. We know there's two magnum sets of magnum clips there. That's 22, 23. The ski on itself would be 24. Then there's the artifact to open the other door. That's 25. The med kit is 26. So we're still missing three other items. Oh, the med kit up there would be one as well. That's 27, so that leaves two more pickups. Um, 
Okay, so I did have to go back on myself because I did realise actually that I had missed a set of magnum bullets. Um, I'm just going to climb my way up to them now and show you guys where they are. So obviously, normally we would go that way in order to get up. But in this case, we actually want to grab hold of this ledge here and pull ourselves up. And then just over on this crevice over here is... Magnum bullets that we missed. Shit. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Okay, well anyway, so I'm just going to rectify this a second and put myself back where I was and I'll be back with you in just a moment. Okay, so I've got back to where we were before my little screw up. And we're going to proceed now. So to do that, we need to drop down here and we need to drain the water out. Now, the next pickup is actually very well hidden, so it can be a bit of a nuisance. it when it does that oh good lord kind of oh fucking hell pressed the wrong button that time I feel like I made a pig's ear of this recording I really do obviously I meant you know I made this recording to, to show you guys where everything is and how to get through everything, where all the secrets are, etc, etc, and I kind of feel like I'm cocking it all up a little bit. Um, but at the end of the day, I do hope that my walkthrough does help. I know there's a lot of other walkthroughs out there. But I do still hope that mine helps to a degree. I really do. So our next pickup, we need to climb up here, and it's just inside this ear. It is very well hidden, so like on some of the other videos I've seen, I have noticed in the comments section a lot of people moaning about this one, well that one, because it's so well hidden. I agree, it is very well hidden. I do feel all of your pains, I really do. Um... But yeah, we got there, we got there. Oh, for crying out friggin' loud, seriously! Oh, you're having a giraffe! Oh. Right, be right back with you folks. Okay, after that cock up, although I'm not entirely certain as to whether or not the game screwed me there or not, Either way, I'm back where I was. I just realised I chucked myself in the water and I've forgotten that actually I need to pull this lever first in order to get through the door. Oh dear. <clears throat> Having one of those days today, I think. Alright, let's go ahead and continue. So here's pickup number twenty four. Twenty 
25. Twenty six. I'm going to pause my recording here while I just deal with this because there's quite a few of them. Right to... Okay. So I've dealt with that lot. And let's see where were we at. So we're at twenty six out of twenty nine. That's that one. And then we've got 27 and 28 here. <coughs> All we need to do now is take Larson out and grab the Skion, because the Skion is the last collector. Sorry Larson, not today mate. Not today. All right, that should do it. Yep, 29 out of 29 and one out of one secrets. <clears throat> I did debate putting this cutscene into the next video, but <clears throat> I didn't know if I'd be able to or not, so I thought I'd just chuck it on the end of here. Larson is sucking wind then, eh? If that is the phrase. Well, your little vacation riot's over now. Time to give back what you've hijacked off me. Let's try the lunchbox. What's it now? Well? Kill her! All right then, folks. Well, this is the Natla's Mines level, so I'm actually going to call it there for now. 
and we'll deal with this level next episode and as you can see we've had all our guns taken from us but don't worry folks we'll be getting those back soon i promise you <laughs> But yeah, if this video has been helpful to you, then let me know in the comments section. I'm pretty sure it will be quite uh, hysterical for some of you as well, what with the amount of deaths I had in it and screw-ups. But hey, I live to entertain. Anyway, let me know in the comments section. <laughs> Hit that like button, be subscribed to the channel, and I'll see you all next time for more Tomb Raider Remastered. Take care.